Johann Sebastian Bach. More than 260 years after his death, the German composer's work has lost none of its power. Wartburg Castle towers over Eisenach in Thuringen. Bach was born here in 1685, and the old town is home to a number of landmarks attesting to his life and times. City Hall is the first stop for visitors keen to find out more about Eisenach's famous son. This is where the town pipers would mark the hour. Johann Ambrosius Bach was one of the best-known town pipers. He was the father of Johann Sebastian Bach. One can therefore assume that when Johann Sebastian was a small boy, he spent some time up there with his father. Opposite is St. George's Church, where Bach was christened. The original baptismal font is still here. Bach grew up in a large, very musical family. For 132 years running, one of its members played the organ in St. George's Church. There's more Bach family history at the Bach House. Now over 600 years old, the residence has served as a museum for more than a century. Visitors can see the room where Bach grew up. In 2008, forensic experts reconstructed his face using medical files, a death mask, and the latest technology. This is what the composer is believed to have looked like. A two-hour drive away from Eisenach, Kötten is a quiet little town in Saxony-Anhalt. In Bach's day, it served as the summer residence of Prince Leopold of anhalt kötten Leopold was a great music lover, and in 1717, he named Bach his Kapellmeister, or musical director. In the following years, Bach was a frequent guest at the palace. The court orchestra was an outstanding one, and the prince often played violin himself when Bach's work was performed. The Brandenburg concertos are probably the most important works composed here. They're difficult pieces and show how skilled the court orchestra was. Bach composed specifically for these musicians. The Bach Memorial and the Historical Museum are located in Kötten Palace. They provide insights into Bach's six years here as Kapellmeister. In 1723, Bach moved to the big city. Leipzig was a flourishing center of trade and culture, and Bach was offered a position as cantor at the Lutheran St. Thomas's Church. He remained there for 27 years. The post also required that he serve as musical director in all four of Leipzig's main churches, including the Nikolai Kirche. His years in Leipzig were his most productive. Here, he composed hundreds of cantatas, choral works, oratorios, and passions. He frequently appeared at City Hall. The City Fathers found Bach difficult. He was forever asking for funds to renovate the churches and for new instruments. With its extensive documentation, the recently renovated Bach Museum in Leipzig is well worth a visit. Visitors can conjure up their own arrangements of the composer's works. The highlight of the museum is the media archive, which includes all 1,127 of Bach's compositions. Listening to them all would be quite a challenge. Not far away is St. Thomas's Church, Johann Sebastian Bach's main workplace in Leipzig. This is where much of his music premiered, and it was here that he served as choir master. In 2012, the renowned St. Thomas's Boys Choir celebrated its 800th anniversary with a series of concerts.
Bach died in Leipzig in 1750 at the age of 65. He was buried in St. Thomas's Church.